Last one for you, Brian Windhorst. At this point next week, we will know who will have the draft rights to Victor Wembanyama. And the draft lottery is next Tuesday. Walk me through the drama of that night, what you expect from soup to nuts. Give me, give me your thoughts on, on what's going to happen in that draft lottery and the drama surrounding it Tuesday. It is really a very unique situation in all of, in all of American sports because one player matters so much in the NBA. Um, the difference he can like just a simple, you know, thing of the, the the fact of the way basketball operates versus the other sports. So one player can change a team's fortunes. I don't know if Victor Wembanyama will impact um, immediately because he is still very physically immature and has to grow up. But I will tell you that this player is more talented than Joel Embiid or Giannis Antetokounmpo when they came in. Okay. And, th- and those guys, you probably looked at them and said, well, they're never going to make anything. Well, guess what? They're the best players in the NBA now. And um, so, and it took, by the way, it took a few years for Giannis and, and, um, and, uh, and even Luca missed the playoffs his first two years. Okay. He was much more ready for the game. So I want to caution that just because a team wins a lottery next week, doesn't mean one Benyama is going to be in the finals next year. LeBron missed the playoffs his first two years, but one Benyama, the talent and size is a package we've never really seen before ever. So um, the real amazing thing in the lottery, the real thing to watch is whether somebody jumps up from, from deep. If Wembenyama goes to the Spurs or Wembenyama goes to the, 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 uh, the Pistons or the Rockets, it's still going to be a part of a process. I think he will be fascinating to watch, but he is not going to be front and center on your, on your TV viewing a year from now. question is if one of these teams from behind jumps up. We've seen it happen a few times in NBA history. Um, and we saw it just a couple of years ago, the, the, the Lakers moved from 11th to fourth. And that was a huge moment because that enabled them to trade for Anthony Davis. If a team like the Oklahoma city thunder mm. who already has a, a really interesting roster, a team like the Portland trailblazers who I'm not sure whether they're going to be able to hold on to Dame Lillard or not. Um, you know, um, a, a team like that comes forward you know, you could really see a huge impact right away because of the because I do think he will, as a complimentary player while he's learning, could be a difference maker. So it's a very exciting time, and there's nothing that anybody can control about it. It's it's a very high pressure, tension release, tension release type situation, and it's enjoyable every year. And this year, there's really high stakes. And of course, if it's the Magic at 11 or the Thunder, as you mentioned, at 12. Uh, right, like one of those well, teams. The Magic have two bite. The Magic have two bites at the the Mad the eleventh pick is the Bulls. Pick. Bulls pick, the Bulls, right? The Bulls could if the Bulls pick moves up into the top four, they get to keep it. Uh, <laughs> if I see. It stays there, then it goes to the Magic. That's, that's so the other thing. Talk I'm talk about winner, right? Winner nothing for the Bulls. That's yeah. what I, that's what I'm I'm wondering about who who's got the real shot here because if one of those teams wins the lottery or gets in right to the to the lottery top uh, picks then the Mavericks move out of the top 10 and they tanked for nothing, right? Like that's a possibility that's right. too on Tuesday night. Other things. And let me just say this. I yes. know that very it's very uh, popular and it's also just fun to talk about. Sure. This time of year to talk about conspiracies, like where does the league want, <laughs> yeah. you know, when the Yama to go, okay? <laughs> yes. Um, all NBA lottery conspiracies died um, in 2019. And that was the night where the Lakers, the Knicks, the Pelicans and the Grizzlies were the final four and they went to commercial and John Morant and Zion Williamson were on the board. The last time we had this kind of excitement was for Zion. And I would even argue that there's more excitement for Ja. I mean, sorry for, uh, for, Z- for um, Victor Wembanyama oh, yeah. because there's a belief that he's even got a higher ceiling. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as that lottery played out, it was Pelicans one Grizzlies two. <laughs> so that night when the Lakers and the Knicks ended up three, four in a, in basically a two, what was the scene as a two superstar possible draft. Right. That's the night all conspiracy theories died. So just keep that in the back of your head as you try to talk yourself into why your team got screwed. That said, where do they think, where, where, where does the league want them? What do you think? Pen, sodium pentothal. Um, sodium so pentothal. Lost him with the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I think I'll tell, you, I'll tell you the place that I I think is very interesting. I sure. think the the Hornets have the second um, odds. Lamelo Ball, who was easy to forget about because he was injured all season. This right. Year. Right. Lamelo Ball and Victor Wembanyama together are two cornerstones of a real team, and I, and I and I honestly the, the Hornets when they're when they're 
together, which they haven't been for a year, are a fun team to watch. I know America doesn't know about them. That is, I mean, that's something that that's you know they've got a 18 percent chance. That's something that could really happen. So I would think Charlotte is is fascinating, and also Houston. Houston has 60 million dollars in salary cap space. Rich, we know that they're going to chase. Uh, we suspect them to chase uh, James Harden in free agency. If they get Wembenyama, do they go get James Harden and play Wembenyama and Harden together? Mm. Or mm. do they get Wembenyama and say, okay, now we have a 19-year-old franchise player. We're not going to go sign the 34-year-old. Um, so if you're a 76ers fan and you're worried about keeping Harden, uh, I, you know, right now 76ers are playing to go to the conference finals. Maybe focus on that. But you might want Wembenyama to go to Houston because I don't know if, if you can have a 19-year-old and James Harden at the same time. I think it would be hard to go on both paths. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.